and you you act like a pushover, you'll be dead. People will kill you with a smile. You'll be smiling and they'll be killing you, stabbing you. It's the kind of world you live in. See, the difference between me and you as a Christian, <laughs> I know the world I live in and I know what needs to happen. A lot of people got to die. And I know you don't want to hear it, but it's happening anyway. Regardless. Regardless if you want to hear it, it's happening anyway. It looks good that we could all be just loving creatures. That looks so, that would be a perfect world if we could all be like that. If we could all walk hand in hand and be in harmony. That's a perfect world, right? But that's what I'm saying. People got that in their mind. Like that's what we can live. We, we can't live that because that would be a perfect world, right? And there's not perfect people. Somebody's going to mess it up. If it's not us, it's another country. If it's not the other country, it's us. It's going to be somebody that's going to mess up a perfect world. It's going to be some country that's going to set it off and start a problem. That's how you got the world wars, all the, the both of the world wars. There was somebody that messed it up for everybody. They messed it up for everybody. So we can't live in a perfect world. We can't live in that perfect world. So is love the answer? Yes, but love is not all the answer. Hate is also the answer. Why does the Bible say then it's a time to love and it's a time to hate? Because both of them are the solutions. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Your preach, these preachers ain't going to tell you this. These preachers ain't going to tell you this and they're going to be slaughtered like sheep. When the time come to go to war, they just going to die. The Bible says, you know what? God's people are what? Destroyed from what? A lack of knowledge. Because you don't know it's a time to love and it's a time to hate. It's a time of war and it's a time of peace. You think it's all love and all peace all the time. And you are destroyed because of it. The Bible says that. That's why I believe in the Bible. Because it tells us everything. It keeps it 100. It's a time to love. It's a time to hate. That's why I believe in it. Them other religions, they tell you, you got to love everybody and, you know, and it's all going to work out. Nope. The Bible says it's a time of love and it's a time of hate. It's a time of war and it's a time of peace. It's a time to re embrace. It's a time to refrain from embracing people. It's a time to nah, fall back. Uh-uh. Too much foolishness and goofiness. It's a time to fall back off that. And you can't worry about how people take it when the Bible is making it clear to you it's a time to love, it's a time to hate, it's a time to embrace, it's a time to refrain from embracing. See, they take that and they don't even really listen to it. You know how I know? Because I kind of halfway was like that myself. I heard it, but I didn't hear it. You listen, but you don't really, really think about like you got to hate somebody. You don't really think about it here in America because it's such a controlled atmosphere that you don't really, it's just not correct in a, this Disneyland kind of world to be walking around with hate. You know, you're going to stick out or people going to feel like you're like some crazy person. If you stop embracing people and you start hating people, you start going to war with people, it's just not, it's just tacky. It might come off tacky here in America because everybody's fake and everybody's all love, you know what I'm saying? Like fake love and all that kind of thing. And it really ain't no love at all anyway. So then at some point you mature in your walk with God, man. You start realizing, man. You start looking around in these last days. You be like, yo. Nah, some people, yo. Some people, they got they to die, yo. Like, that's just simple. Like, they either got to die or fly straight, bro. For real. Like, they got to die or, or fly straight. Word is bond. And ain't no F ins or buts about it. Ain't no gains about it. Because they respect the mob. And this is why God is going to let it happen like this. Because they respect the mob. They respect Crips and Bloods. If you knew it was a leader of the Bloods or the Crips, you, I promise you, you won't be doing nothing. 
I promise you, you won't be eavesdropping. I promise you, you won't even be using no witchcraft. You too scared them boys gonna come in your house and shoot your head off, boy. You ain't gonna be messing with no Crip and Blood leaders. No Tukey type of characters. You ain't gonna be playing with them because you scared. You know, even if you use witchcraft, they might know it's you for some way. You know, through their spiritual, through their divination, they might find out it's you. And then you got a home invasion. Now they done kicked in your door and they shoot, and they got SKSs to your head. Yeah, you ain't gonna play with no, you ain't gonna play with no crips like that. I guarantee you won't do it. I guarantee you won't do it. I guarantee you, you won't play with no heavy bloods or no heavy crips. I guarantee you. But then they think they can play with us, though. That's what I'm saying. And I know you won't do it to nobody else. Therefore, that lets me know how God, I know how God, I know how God feels about that. My people is going to be, God's people going to be lifted up above everybody. You're going to respect us like you respect Crips. You're going to respect us like you respect Bloods. You're going to respect us like you respect the mob. Before this is said and done, before this world is ended, it's already happening now. Through me. Through me. I'm making sure. Police, too. Y'all be respecting the Bloods and the Crips, too. You, you ain't going to take it too far. You ain't going to take it too far. You ain't going to be harassing them unnecessarily. You ain't, you ain't harassing no dangerous individuals. I promise you that. You don't want that smoke. If anything, you're trying to bring peace into the community with those individuals. You ain't trying to bring, you ain't trying to make arouse their anger. I promise you, these police ain't trying to arouse the anger of these dangerous dudes out here. So you too, you another one. You another one. You ain't gonna try us like that, bro. I don't care nothing about you. I promise you I don't. It's a time to love and a time to hate, partner. And all the stuff you done done, and everything you done done, all that little sneaky stuff you done done, it's coming back, man. And you can die. You and your family. I tell you, just like that, you ain't no different to anybody else. You can die. I don't care nothing about you either. Not in this war, buddy. You walking around like Skipper, like you good. You ain't good. You play with us, you not good. I promise you that. You ain't good, bro. It's been time for this. God's people to rise up. This ain't no, this ain't no, this ain't no disrespect, but this ain't no Kirk Franklin kind of hip hop music. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking, I'm a spiritual warrior, bro. This ain't got nothing to do with no Christianity meets hip hop and all that. No disrespect. You know, because what he do is fly, but I think people think that, oh, what he talking about is like kind of like he like some kind of Kurt Franklin kind of, bro, let me tell you something, man. Man, I've been groomed in spiritual warfare. I've been dealing with real spiritual warfare from coast to coast, from place to place, bro. I ain't playing no games. I'm a spiritual warrior. I think like a spiritual militant where you can die. That's who I am. I'm an original in this. I'm an original. You ain't going to find no other Christian like me. Because half of them, especially here in America, they held back by what they preach are telling them. They preach are telling them to love everybody. And it ain't and then that, that the Bible don't teach that. First thing they want to say, love your enemies. It still don't triumph over. It still is not the full Bible. To just use those particular scriptures. Okay, you had men of God, including the Messiah, the Son of God, God in the flesh, that gave us all, they all gave us nuggets. But we have to take all of that to, and put it all together. You can't just take the love your enemies part, but don't look at Ecclesiastes where it says it's a time to love and a time to hate. You have to have all of it. And this is why you're not half the master that you need to be. Because you're not the yin and the yang. The whole mastery is becoming the yin and the yang. 
You have not become the hero and the villain. You have not become, uh, look, 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 let me explain something to you. Your country is not heroes anyway. Okay? You know how it started here? You know the real history? You know where you at? You know how this started? We're killing a whole bunch of Native American Indians. This is how this started. First off, first off, let's get that first understood. Before you start blowing trumpets and talking about singing the national anthem under your breath. Okay, you, bro, you, you only here because they killed Native American Indians. Because if they didn't do that, they would the Native Americans would have killed you and your family. That's the only reason you even here. First off, second off, you're only also here because African American slaves slaved to keep these people propped up. Okay, that's the second reason. And then they and just they just work. They use all non-white people for a workforce to keep them propped up. This is not built off love. That's why the foundation is falling apart now. It ain't never been built off love, and they never established it. They never established love after they had hate. See, that's what you have to do. That's the balance. They stayed the villain the whole time. They never was the hero. When? When was America the hero? Tell me. They never were. They never were heroes. They know how to be villains. They know how to project themselves as heroes. They make other people heroes for their cause, but it's still a villain cause. Okay, because that that goes for all you veterans. You know, you are a hero, but you served a villain cause. You can't be slow now listening to me. You can't be slow. Okay, I'm sorry. You can't be slow. I I can't I I can't I can't be dumbed down. I can't dumb this down. Okay, you either get it or you don't get it. I'm sorry. I I got I got I got I got to I got to go all the way with this. I got to get deep with it. I, you, if you slow, you got you got to leave the room. I'm sorry. Okay, so you served in the military. You served. You served as a hero, smart, uh, loyal to your country. But the but the the foundation was never the foundation of a hero. It was never the foundation of heroes here. Okay, look at your causes. Look what you did. Look how you did it. I know. You, I know. You've been brainwashed. They told you it was a good old country. Good win. Now you see what I'm saying. Now you see what you in. You in. Now you're getting it. Now you're waking up. They didn't want you to wake up. You built this country off the backs of slaves. You killed Native Americans when you got here. How can you ever be fighting for a hero country? How can that ever be a hero country? How can you ever be heroes? You got 44 states married children. How can you ever be heroes? You're not heroes now. You're marrying children now. See what I'm saying? So you never really was a hero. You mastered being a villain, and that's how you got ahead. Now think about it. And see, I got ahead because I have real spiritual virtue from God Almighty, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the mighty Messiah, mightier than us all, in the mighty Holy Ghost. That's how I got power. So I'm already built on a good foundation. But then I got to show you the villain. See how I won? You don't have a foundation of good. You don't have the hero and the villain. I have played the both positions. I've learned to do it. 
This is the only way you win. The whole thing is that you become the hero in the village. And it ain't by killing people. See, this time, God showed me that the good guy wins, which is me. You know why God showed me that? Because they they always assassinated the Martin Luther King Jr., the Malcolm X's, and God showed me this time, you're going to win. You represent them. You represent the good guys. The guys, they always try to cut short when they start telling the truth. This time, that ain't going to happen. This time, a lot of y'all going to die. It's payback for all of that, man. What you thought? Because it didn't happen in five years, it ain't going to happen. This is payback for all of that, man. Because I'm in that same position, whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not, I'm in that position. Whether you give it to me, I don't care if you ever esteem me as Malcolm X or Martin Luther King Jr. I'm doing the work. I got the gate. I got the gift of gab. I got it. I can see things that you can't see that's right in front of you. I can show you everything, every issue. I can show you. I got the magic on every issue. And I know what I mean when I say that. I got the gifts, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm in the position I'm in. You don't have to ever give it to me, but I am of the likes of those people because I'm a national leader. That's what they was. They ain't, Nobody didn't even tell you that, did you? You know who told you that? Me. I told you that. <laughs> explains it. Explains it right there. You didn't even know what they were. Can you tell me what the position they were in? Oh, a civil rights movement leader. So when the civil rights part left, what they were supposed to be after that? No, I'm just, I ain't trying to be funny. When the civil rights part leaves or the need to fight for civil rights what do they become? They were national leaders. That's what they were. They were supposed to lead the people nationally, nationwide. That's what I am. That's why you can't beat me with that New York stuff, man. You can't be serious. I done been through every city, almost every city. If it's worth something, I've been through it. If I ain't lived there, I, I, I at least went, my soul went through that city. Oh, I know. It means something to spiritual people. <laughs> it might not mean nothing to you, but to spiritual people, it means something. For you to just pass through. I done passed through all them cities you, you, you worship, you claim. I done passed through all of them. If I ain't lived there, I done passed through all of them. Chicago, I done been through Chicago. I done been through Las Vegas. I done been through Miami. I done been through all LA, Los Angeles, Seattle, Phoenix, Dallas, Atlanta, Memphis, Houston, Houston, Texas. I done been through all them places. That's what I'm saying. You, you don't understand the capacity, the spirit. You don't have the spiritual capacity to understand all of that movement. You don't understand all of that. Oh, yeah, it means something. It does something. It does something. You think it's just a trip. It did something. <laughs> I know. I know. You don't have the capacity to understand. I've been through New Orleans. I've been through New Orleans. Where all that spirituality is at. Where you see the, the Mercedes Benz Stadium from the highway. Here. Yeah. Where you go to Chicago and you see the two stadiums side by side. See, now if you ain't been there, you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you play, you barked up the wrong tree, partner. That's all it is. And that's all it's ever going to be. See, I done passed through all of this. I'm nationwide, man. Oh, you thought it was just California. I know. I'm nationwide, buddy. I'm nationwide, partner. Been through Chicago. Like I told you. Done passed through there. 
got love from the locals while I was in Chicago. Yeah, you threw. I told you. See, this level of spirituality, it's it's only for it's only for it's only for the experienced man. It's only for the experienced people. Because see, the truth of the matter is half of your spirituality is based on arrogance. You ain't really got the you ain't you ain't really got the goods. Well, the bottom line is, what do you manifest? That's what, look, I, I can talk your language. You can't talk mine. What do you manifest? That's what I want to know. And if you ain't manifesting nothing, me and you can't even, you can't even see eye to eye with me. I'm manifesting. Stuff is being, let's put it like this. Things are being manifested on my behalf for my life. What's being manifested on your life? Huh? What's being manifested? What's manifested for your life? Nothing, man. Nothing even close. Since I've been here in New York, y'all done had a flash flood. Do you know in the history of New York, y'all have never had a flash flood? Go check the history. You had to go look. Yeah, I know. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about it. I might put I might put a link in this video so you'll see. Um, you'll see a, a video where they explain that this there's never been a flash flood. Go look up the definition of a flash flood. New York City has never had a flash flood until last year. That's through the 90s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. All those good years, y'all love New York City. All through the 70s, the 60s, the 50s. You can go back far as you want. But New York City has never had a flash flood on record. Boy, you telling me there ain't a sign and there ain't manifestation? Boy, you done lost your mind playing with me. When these hordes and hordes of people that come through this city died, died and, and lived and died, and you ain't never seen a flash flood. So what, what changes it now? Why does it happen now then? Explain. Can you intelligently explain it? While you and your cut in New York City, you have never had a flash flood in your history until last year. That's the 1990s. That's the 90. Go check. I challenge you to go check. You have never had a flash flood in New York City's history. That's for all you boroughs that think y'all so tough. Well, manifest that, man. I want you to manifest that. Huh? This is North Carolina spirituality. And I don't mean that is, uh, let me how I put this. That don't mean that North Carolina per se can take the credit. But, but I was raised in North Carolina spirituality. You don't, we just like New Orleans. When it comes to this spirituality, let me help, let me help you understand something. For you people that think that North Carolina is just cows and, and barns and stuff like that, we are right there as far as high ranking, as far as spirituality as New Orleans. And, 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 and you know, we're right there with them. Yeah, you better go ask them. You better go ask somebody. You better go ask somebody. You better go ask somebody. You better go do that. North Carolina is right there as far as uh, voodoo, hoodoo, and real spiritual Christianity. Right there with the best of them. Why you thought I was some little city slicker with some little, little religion. How about now? 
When you got a New York, a flash flood in New York, and you ain't never had that. I'll tell anybody here that did the same thing. And I'm going to get all I need. I'm going to get what I need. And if I don't get what I need, you lose. See, this is how it is with playing with real, real high-ranking people. You would think it's like playing with the devil. But we're not on that side. You would think so. You know why? Because we play for keeps. That's why. I know. You You think you're going to walk away and you ain't. <laughs> Hey, it's worse than playing with the devil. Who's worse than the devil? Who's more mightier than the devil? God. God is more mightier than the devil. So when you play with us, it's worse than the devil, man. I know. You don't understand that, dude. It's too deep for you. I know. You thought God was just love, and he's just going to love you. Not this time, buddy. If I don't get what I need, y'all all, all going to suffer. You and your families are going to suffer. And it's nothing you can do about it. It's nothing you can do. You play with the wrong man. The wrong man who knows how to use his spirituality. I know how to use my spirituality to defeat you and destroy you as a whole country. You don't want to play with me. And I made this clear to you. I made this very clear to you. While you're trying to be bad, and you're trying to be Michael Jackson bad, you're, you're, you're sad. You're Michael Jackson sad, bro. <laughs> okay? You're not Michael Jackson bad. You're Michael Jackson sad, bro. You're not, ow, you're he hee hee. That's what you. <laughs> like playing with you, man. And the difference between me and you is I have my moments and I'm backing it up all the time. You ain't got nothing but moments. Saying all your jazz, talking all that jazz, telling these people all it is. I have my moments and I get back to work. That part. I have my moments where I state the obvious. And I get back to work. Because you got to do this, man. You got to regulate because people get, when you get absent, just like Jay-Z say, when you get, they get absent, when you get absent, they get absent-minded. You get absent-minded like you don't know what's going on, like you don't forget. Like you don't know what you're dealing with. Like you can't see what's in front of you. As if you are absent-minded. Like as if your mind is absent. I ain't got to earn nothing. I don't got to earn respect. I don't got to earn nothing. If I don't get what I supposed to get, I'm making it very clear to you. You can, you can go tell whoever you want to tell. And I guarantee you it ain't going to be able to do nothing about it. Because you don't went too wrong. You don't went too long in the wrong direction. Nobody don't even want to help you. Who wants to help your country when you got 44 states married children? Any, any FBI want to help that? Police, y'all want to help people that's marrying children? Any military want to help America who's marrying children in 44 states? So see, I won. I got the whole community. And that's just on information. Not to mention the virtue, the spiritual power. I got your own information, partner. Boy, you know, you got yourself in a whole bunch of trouble. You don't know that. <laughs> you should have left me alone. Because ain't nobody rocking with you when you marry children, bro. Who going to defend that? Anybody going to defend that? You can call me what you want to call me. Okay, you can think you can think I'm the big bad wolf. You can think whatever you want to think. But see, at the end of the day, though, you still gotta feel me because they played with me first. That part, it's not unprovoked. In other words, hey, feel me? Yeah, yeah. It's not unprovoked. So how really angry can you be with somebody, and they were attacked first? 
They was attacked first. Right? How angry can you be with somebody for defending themselves after somebody attacked them first? Well, that's the real history. That's the real legend. They attacked me, and I attacked them. And see how I did it? I did it by spiritual means. So see, you ain't got no crime. I got a million crimes on you. Well, you got you doing uh, psychological war crimes. All of that is war crimes all day. That's all war crimes. That's all war crimes. That's what we call it. Okay? Those are all war crimes. And it's psychological wars. And if you actually are doing those things, you have that, those activities, and people can find them and track them, then that's a crime. You can't track nothing as a crime, what I'm doing. <coughs> See the difference between me and you? Is that you have crimes right now while you think it's all good for you. Hey, all of that eavesdropping and all that stuff you're doing out there, that's crimes, bro. That's stalking. That's a form of stalking. Boom. At minimum, you're stalking. Okay. Now you got it good. You got it good. Okay, so that's the minimum we'll be talking here. Extreme stalking, which can land you in jail for, for quite some time based on the, how long you did it. Boom. Ow. <laughs> so see, who, who's really winning? And who really deserves to die? I think it's you. I think it's your time. Hey, everybody got to go one day. See, 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 real heroes and villains realize that. That you, you know, I guess because you ponder 